Pisces singles, this is your love reading for April. So this is for Pisces sun, moon, rising, and then also some of you will watch it for your Venus. This is also for anyone who's spying on a Pisces, trying to figure out what's going on in their love life, because um, you're interested in them. Or just because you're nosy, but whatever. Um, special shout out to Harvey. I know you're waiting for this video, so I hope you love it. All right. So the first thing I want to start with is what are our challenges um, going to be in April here in our love life? And it says new, exciting adventures, um, taking those steps to have them with somebody because it's a big change. So it's really April, awesome time for you to find a mate and to find someone fun and silly and loving and just wonderful for you, okay? Um, this is a time to really, you know what, this is kind of fun because this is spring and death is all about, um, it's not as scary and ominous as it looks. It's more about closing doors on the old ways we used to do things and then walking through new ones. Um, new, more fun, adventurous, like wonderful things. And these are the cards that you're starting with. So you're, ch but it's coming up as a challenge, okay? So you really have to, basically this month, you really have to sort of push yourself to go do new things with new people, have a good time, okay? So in the spring, this is maybe a little bit easier. Um, maybe you can get outside more. Maybe you could go, you know, mini golfing. Do something that you don't typically do um, because there's new, exciting beginnings. Now, this is also in context of meeting somebody, this is really, really good because it's like a fiery, passionate kind of a relationship. So if you've been wanting passion, totally possible this month. Um, now, the thing is, is that you might be meeting somebody um, that doesn't necessarily want the same things that you do, okay? But in knowing that and accepting what it is, you can kind of avoid the drama and just have a good time, you know? So it's gonna be very important for you to be um, very deliberate and very communicative about what your desires are. And if you don't know and they don't know, that's okay. But it's just saying, you know, this could be a very fun and sexy month for you. Um, where are we now in April? What are the energies of April in regards to love? Now, it seems to me that maybe the way that April starts is that you're not really sure. You're not really sure um, who you want to talk to, like if you even want to start like talking to people, kind of inviting them out, things like that. And a lot of it is because you don't feel, it's because you don't want to lie to them. Like those of you who are in this energy of, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I don't really know what I want. Like, do I want a long-term partner? Do I want this fun and sexy fling? Um, if you're honest about that though, that, then it's fine. But if you're intentionally kind of avoiding people or avoiding fun because you don't know what you want, it's actually as simple as just saying, hey, I don't know. Because nobody can get pissed at you later if you were honest. Um, see, and there's your confirmation right there, the justice card, that that's fair, okay? That's fair. It's on them to decide you know, okay, for example, let's say that I want to date you. It doesn't matter what your gender is, okay? And I say, look, I'm just looking for a good time. And you're like, oh, but I'm really looking for my forever person. Now, because I was honest and I said, hey, I just want to do all this fun stuff. Like, I want to go to the park and I want to have fun with you. And I want to go live it up at Chuck E. Cheese and get smashed and just see how the night goes, couple nights a week, I'm not really sure if I want marriage or not, you can't get mad at me later knowing that you wanted marriage and that I was like, maybe, maybe not, okay? Nobody can hold that against you. So you just have to communicate and you can definitely have a good time. It's not using people. I know that you're concerned because you're a water sign and you feel, and that's so good of you, but but it's not on you. That's their ish. If they choose that when you've been honest, that's their problem, right? All right. So it says, just do what makes you happy this month. <laughs> really, it's that simple. Do what makes you happy. Everything that you've been feeling, everything that makes you sad, 
frame it as a lesson and just focus on the good things. Just focus on the things that bring you joy. If something doesn't bring you joy this month, quit, whatever. And I'm not saying, um, no, I'm talking about love, okay? I'm not talking about your job. Like, nobody has the perfect job because it's work, right? People might love their job. They might want to go to their job, but 100% of the time, they're not always into it. I'm not saying, like, quit your job. Don't say, oh, you know what? Terribly accurate. They told me, like, if I don't like it, quit. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about love specifically. Like, if you're not having a good time with somebody, all right, bye. Because there's a lot of fun to be had in April. There really, really is. Um, what else for Pisces? Some of you just, um, I feel like, no, some of you this month are feeling a little bit like suspicious, like a little bit guarded, okay? It's as though you're afraid that you're going to find something out about somebody. Like you're not entirely opening up. And, um, and so you're kind of, so some of you might be kind of going within a lot. You might be, um, feeling like, oh man, but if I continue to feel this way, am I going to like grow old by myself? And you know how it was saying in the beginning with the seven of cups, like, gosh, I don't really know what I want. It's like, you're trying to solve this mystery. Okay. But the message is, if you just have fun, it becomes more apparent what you do want versus what you don't. You don't have to know this month. This month is about having fun and um, having a good time because a good time is meant to be had for Pisces. They're like, be hopeful and optimistic. Like, you don't have to know everything, right? What? That's the adventure of life. This is your month of adventure and fun and passion. So just kind of go out there and do your thing, do what makes you happy, and see what happens. Um, now, in this Venus retrograde that we've had, it's been a little bit challenging for a lot of signs, so I want to um, pull a few cards to see what the lesson was, um, the one that we're coming out of, what we've kind of learned, and then what lesson um, our souls will kind of be learning throughout the month of April, what we'll be working on in regards to our love lives. So um, what we're coming out of, what we've been learning, maybe about to finish learning, is willingness. And it says you're able to compromise if the end result is love. Such a Pisces thing, right? <laughs> um, you're always able to compromise. You really are, like when it comes to love. Uh, with this one, it's been probably a lesson to figure out when are you compromising too much though, right? And so hopefully we've kind of learned that and then moving on into April, we've got action. And it says you have the courage and you have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. And that's what April's all about for you. So um, yeah, it might be a challenge to really get out there and have a good time, but that time is there for you, I promise. This could be a really fun month if you're just willing to take that action. You had so many action cards, so many wands. You actually had Ace of Wands, which is like new beginnings that are fun and exciting. And right next to it, the Knight of Wands, which is the fastest knight in the deck. He's like, I'm going to go and I'm going to have a good time. So um, I hope you go out and have the best time. Let me know in the comment box below how much of a fun time you had, if it was really great. I'd love to hear that stuff. And um, best of luck and love. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.